Welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to give an overview of SAP HANA. In the introduction video to BR Blue, I had this slide as one of the scenarios one can use to implement the BR platform. In this video we're going to focus on SAP HANA. This is where you would store data. Now HANA is made to handle big data, but before I go into HANA, let's look at the data problems and why you would need HANA. Many businesses have large volumes of data, but as business gets more and more data, it becomes harder to analyze the data due to the volume of data. Then soon business become like this poor guy trying to move everything using an inferior tool like a bicycle. So we can see this is just not going to work. Something needs to be done. So traditional analytics will copy your data into an operational data store, then load the data in a data warehouse where they will aggregate and index the data so that we can retrieve the data in a reasonable time frame. From there, business can query the data. Then depending on the BI platform used, Further calculations could occur before displaying the data. Then eventually you will get the data you need. Now this then provides the following problems. You lose granularity of the data due to aggregation. This is where the business needs to compromise between speed and detail in data. Basically the more detail, the longer it takes to retrieve the data for analysis. Also, most of these solutions are based on disk. Disk has reached its limits with regards to speed. There has not been much enhancements in the past years with regards to disk speed. This landscape often means you need more hardware and is usually more complex. Also due to the whole process, the data warehouse usually gets only updated once a night. Therefore analyzing the data the next day might be too late. So as we can see, there is a latency between data creation and analytics. So to improve this, SAP has indicated that in-memory is the solution. But now memory has been around for some time. So why are the solutions disk-based? Well, in 1990, the cost per terabyte of disk in comparison to memory was much cheaper. So at the time, it was the most logical way to go. But now let's fast forward to 2012. The cost per terabyte is much cheaper. Disk is still slightly cheaper, but we are now at the time where we can use memory instead of disk. Then the benefit of using memory is the drastic difference in speed. It is 10 million times faster to do processing in memory. So SAP in-memory solution is known as SAP HANA. It is an in-memory data rest that accelerates business decisions. SAP HANA is sold as an appliance. This means for you to get the best speed, the HANA software works with only certain SAP certified hardware. Also, it is an appliance because it will be delivered on site with an operating system and HANA pre-installed. This means the hardware vendor will configure the SAP HANA software for the best performance on their hardware. But now it's not just in-memory that makes HANA so fast. HANA has the option to store data as row-based or column-based. Column storage is best for an environment where it will be used for analytics. The column storage once again improves speed, but also allows for compression on the data. So let me explain this in more detail. This is what my filing system looks like at home. Now, when I'm looking for a statement or invoice, or any document in this stack of papers, I basically need to start at the top and go through each document until I find what I'm looking for. This is how row-based databases work. Therefore, this is how most of SAP competitors retrieve their data. They go through all the records until they find the data. Then there's my wife's filing system, which is much better. Everything is arranged, categorized, and stored neatly. It takes up less space and works better. When she needs to find something, she knows which drawer and within the drawer she has labels by name to find the documents she's looking for. This is how column-based systems work. We provide this in our HANA system. Okay, so this was the old landscape we discussed earlier. Now this is SAP HANA. This is how SAP HANA is changing the landscape. Due to the speed of SAP HANA, we load all the detail into SAP HANA. So if we need aggregated data, SAP HANA does the aggregation real time, in memory, instantly. But this also means we have our record level data in order to analyze in depth in areas where we pick up problems. You might be thinking now, that is fine that we can have the data at our fingertips, but how often does it update? Well, with SAP HANA, we are able to load data real time. So no more waiting for the next day for the data. So just to recap on HANA, because we have certified hardware, it is delivered with multi-core CPUs, which have a large memory footprint. Then we have row and column store data. Column store data obviously performs much better. Then we have compression. 
So all your data is compressed, reducing the cost of hardware. And then we don't need to aggregate the tables. We can leave it in this raw format so that we can have the most detail as possible. And we're able to analyze large sets of data and complex computations. And then once again, real-time replication, and that is how we load our data. So it's real fast data loads. Okay, let's have a look at SAP HANA. As you will notice, I'm logged onto a Linux box. It is a SUSE box. Currently, SAP HANA is not delivered on a Windows platform. It's only delivered on a Linux platform. So for all those who haven't seen Linux, this is what it looks like. Um, it has a bit of a GUI, but most people that know it will know that they use it through the command console. So they'll either use it like this or access it from a Windows system file program called PuTTY. But I'm not going to focus too much on Linux, but just to give you an idea, it's a mainly command-based prompt system. Okay, so now let's look at it, SAP HANA. I've already got the Modeling Studio open here. There is the icon for it. Now, this is how the Modeling Studio looks. Now, from SAP HANA, you will not really deal much on the Linux server, so don't worry about seeing the actual Linux server. The way you'll interact with it is through the Modeling Studio. So from the Modeling Studio, you know, I can see that it's running. From here, we can, you know, view the system, see how the, uh, all the status on it. We can stop it, we can restart it, we can do quite a bit of things. And within here, we can then see the auth authorization object. So within HANA, you can have users, you can have roles, and you can set up all the authorization. Then we have schemas. The schemas are like databases. And within each schema, you've got your tables, your column views, your procedures, and normal views. Then what makes HANA a little bit different is that you can do other modeling in this section here. For example, modeling, we can model analytic views, we can model um, calculation views, attribute views, procedures. So a lot of content can be built in here, a lot of modeling and there's different ways of doing the content. For now, what I'm going to do is just show you one table that I've loaded here. If I just double click on this table, we're going to go to runtime information. Now, first of all, notice that the type is column store. Secondly, notice the size on the disk. So on disk, it is roughly three and a half gig, but in memory, it is only making use of 336 megs. So that is how it's compressed and loaded into memory. So as we can see, it's compressed quite a lot. We can also see that we've got 20 million records. So it's important to remember how many records it is. Then I've got a query here already open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the query. And then you can see it was quite fast. Now, that query was against the same table that has 20 million records, VBAP. VBAP. OK. So if we go back here, run it again, you can see that it comes quite fast back. But now let's just bring this up here a bit and let's look at the statistics. Now it says it's executed in 12 milliseconds. So it took 12 milliseconds to get the data from the database and then another millisecond just to display it. So all in all, to get the data and display it in this little grid, it took 13 milliseconds. Okay, so let's do a re quick recap on the performance that HANA can provide. As demonstrated, HANA retrieved 37 summarized rows from a record set of 20 million records. It did this in 12 milliseconds, yes, 12 milliseconds. The size of the data on the disk was 3.5 gigs big. Now, you might think 3.5 gigs big is still big, but guess what? We've compared this to our competitor. What we did is we loaded the same data in our competitor's database. And first of all, it took 40 seconds to retrieve the data. Then on the disk size, it was over 20 gigs big. Now, you might be wondering which database we used. While it's a pretty well-known brand, um, makers of Windows, we use a specific version, 20, 2008. So just to give you an idea, HANA was over a thousand times faster. HANA also compressed the data by more than five times. So as you can see, we're saving you on disk space, the cost of disk space, and we're also reducing the time. But now you might be thinking, yes, this is fast. We need the product. Well, it's not good enough to just get it because of speed. You need to be getting this product to change the way you do business. To give you an example, let's say you've got a fairly large debtors book and it takes you maybe three, four days to produce reports on those debtors so that you can do debt collection, cash flow analysis. But now what happens if you could reduce that to an hour? You know, value would that add? That would mean you'd have more time for debt collection, more time to do debt analysis. So if you could increase your debt collection by 5%, and let's say your debt book comes to a million, two million, five percent of a million is fifty thousand, five percent of two million, hundred thousand. So as you can see, it adds a lot of value. 
to the business once you get it up and running. So let's see how other people have benefited from this. Okay, in the retail industry, we have a leading global CPG brand. Basically what they had is 70 retailers, 460 billion records, which basically gave you 40 terabytes once in HANA. Before it was in HANA, it was 120 terabytes. So you can see massive saving in disk storage. And basically what they managed to do is get their shelf turnaround reduced from five to two days. So that is a massive benefit of three days that they've got. Long Fu Spring, it basically took them 24 hours to do their reports. So they were able to bring it down to 3.8 seconds. Also, they were able to get in real-time analysis because what they do is they have seven production sites in several factories, and it was critical for them to get real-time analysis into all of the factories and what is happening in all the locations. And Hannah was able to provide that. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at brblue.co.za.